Hi everybody, we're back and we are putting together the final touches of the uh, Chipotle chicken nacho dip. So I've pulled out our cast iron skillet from the oven. Um, it was in there for about 10 minutes and it was set at 450 degrees. So what I love to do here is um, I'm just going to take a scoop. Oh, look at this, guys. First of all, oh my goodness, ooey gooey. Should have done this. Look at this. Look at how beautiful that is. You see all the colors? And I can smell it. I can't wait to eat it. All right. So put some dip here and then some chips. Okay. And then to top it off, Sour cream, or in this case, I love Greek yogurt, so we're going to put Greek yogurt on top. Um, when you make this recipe, um, you're supposed to put the sour cream inside the recipe, and um, as your consultant, I forgot, so this is what we're doing, okay? We're taking it and we're putting it on top, just like that. Okay, okay, and then have a little garnish over here, cilantro, pretty leaves, let's put it right on top. There you go guys, okay, this is chipotle chicken nacho dip. Hope you guys like it. Now, when you guys make this at home, it's not going to take four videos for you to do it, okay? It really only should take you about 30 minutes to put everything together. And if you don't want to use the air fryer, um, you could totally put your chicken in a microwave dish and microwave it in there in a Pampered Chef. Uh, either micro cooker or any of the stoneware, you can microwave your chicken or you can bake it, okay? But I like the air fryer because it saves me a lot of cleanup and a lot of time. So there you have it. I hope you guys like it. And until our next video, bye.